Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Alright, so obviously you guys know I've made a bunch of videos covering Bill Maher segments. I've given him credit over the years, as he seems to be one of the only leftists willing to tell the truth when it comes to being honest about all the woke crap, but one thing I never do is give Bill Maher full credit. And that's very simply because Bill Maher doesn't deserve full credit. Sure, sometimes he'll have a little moment of honesty, but as a whole, this guy suffers from one of the worst cases of Trump derangement syndrome I think the world has ever seen. He's also incredibly partisan, and I'd say close-mindedly so. He votes for the Democrat Party and then justifies it after the fact. Of course, working backwards from there, this is why Bill Maher can never get full credit. He's fully willing to throw young progressives under the bus. That's easy for him. But speak well one ill word of the Democrat establishment tell the truth about Democrat leadership. Well, of course, no, he'll never go there. In fact, he'll go in circles and sound like a complete fool before acknowledging the basic reality of the Democrat political elite. He tries to present himself as different from the rest of the Hollywood clowns and mainstream media clowns, but really, he isn't all that different after all. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so this segment right over here with Patrick but David pretty much puts it all into perspective. Bill Maher loves to present himself on TV as the guy who just knows everything. I mean, this guy. He's just so smart. He knows everything about politics. I mean, he's a walking encyclopedia. He's the guy. Not really, there's too many moments like these. Do you like Newsom? How do you feel about Newsom? Had him on my show Friday. I saw that. And uh, I, I, first of all, I love him. Just You just like a guy or you don't. I've known him for a long time. He's done my show for a long time. Do, do I love everything he does as the governor of California? No, I don't. I wouldn't say I'm undertaxed. Uh, yeah, it's this, I have issues with this state. He's... I got one reason I want him to run for president. Well, is because he's obviously a winner. This guy could do it. It's insane that we have the guy, but we can't run him because we have to winner. tiptoe around Biden and the final winner. Well, he would win the election. Oh, so so he would win the election. So he's a talented debater, speaker, communicator, yeah, deflector, and, and politician. And right. he's a smart guy. He's right. he's a smart, real guy with a pair of balls. Do I love everything? No, you never knew do with a politician. But first of all, I think if he ran for president, it'd be great because it would force him to move to the center. Now you're running not just in California. Yeah. I mean, this is California. It's weird. Are, are you are you a are you a uh, are you a results driven guy? No, I like to think, watch things yeah. fall apart. I mean, you, you wouldn't build a show that you win, build and win at the levels you won, you know, for decades if you weren't results driven, right? I mean, you're, you're, you're Bill Maher, you know. What, I, what about, what do you mean, what's the point about so results exactly driven? exactly where I'm going with you. So results, so results driven yeah. guy. Right. What areas has Newsom won in? You said he's a winner. Winner of the election. He no, could no. win the election. But based on what, though, do you want results? Like, what has he done? To California to say he's a winner. What? What? Oh uh, God! I don't know. I. It's too. <laughs> Bill, you're a smart. You know what? Guy. He what, made it what? rain. Okay, dude. The, it wasn't yeah, raining. Someone said that. He said, "Great and, job." It wasn't I'm raining, and it. now it's raining. So he's got my vote. I, okay. You know what? Respect. I mean, I, he, I, he, he. I don't know. I don't follow the news. That's it's completely speechless. Doesn't know what to say. He's willing to say something like, Gavin Newsom is a winner, but is completely unable to back that claim up. Gavin Newsom's a winner, why? Because he wins elections in Democrat California as a Democrat candidate? Not exactly something to ride home about. I mean, that's like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez claiming that she's a winner, such a winner, in fact, that she should run in the general election because she wins in her Bronx district. Wow, Gavin Newsom can win an election in California in not very spectacular manner whatsoever, I might dad, with the entire backing of the DNC behind him in the Democrat stronghold of California with Nancy Pelosi, the freaking California politics puppet master, as a literal family member supporting from behind the scenes. Gavin Newsom's a winner. Please explain to us, Bill Maher, why Gavin Newsom's a winner. Obviously, he can't explain Jack Squat. Well, just because he's gonna win. Go and tell us why he's a winner in California. Uh, 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 uh. Bill Maher instantly turns into Justin Trudeau, unable to formulate a single coherent frickin' sentence. This is the guy with a TV show named Real Talk. Too scared to say the truth because we're in an election year. Democrats come on my show and they're my friends, therefore, I'm not going to say the truth about Gavin Newsom. Here's the truth about Gavin Newsom. Since he's been running California, the state has lost hundreds of thousands, 
it's probably nearing 1 million, maybe even more than 1 million residents. All of these people fleeing California up to neighboring states or sometimes across the freaking country to move to the greener pastures of Florida. I mean, for Pete's sakes, Gavin Newsom's own parents-in-law decided that they had enough of California and that they would rather be in Ron DeSantis's Florida than in their son-in-law's California. During the time he's been in office, he's ushered in an era of crime unlike before. Now, maybe the 1990s had more violent crime, but in terms of retail theft, general lawlessness, basic street crime targeting citizens and tourists, everything is through the roof, mostly thanks to no cash bail release, the revolving door of the leftist justice system, and the decriminalization of petty theft and other crime. California's public school system is failing, boasting some of the worst results in the country. California's poverty rate is over 17% when you factor in cost of living that's the highest in the nation. Even though the state boasts about having the strongest economy in the nation, yeah, maybe strong for the tech CEOs and the finance people people. Everyone else, well, tough luck. There's a housing crisis in California, a cost of living crisis, more and more burdensome taxes and regulations, an illegal immigration crisis, and now they want to give health care to illegals and allow illegals to vote in their local elections. And don't even get me started on Gavin Newsom's track record and his hypocrisy during the pandemic. That's Gavin Newsom's track record. I can't name too much positive that he's done or accomplished. But of course, Bill Maher glosses all over that and says, well, he should be president because Orange Man and bad and because he can win. He's essentially saying Gavin Newsom should be president because he looks a certain way, he presents himself as a certain way, and, and I think he's electable, therefore he should be the president because he's a Democrat. He has D next to his name, and he's my friend. This is real talk with Bill Maher. That's not real talk. That's loser Democrat shill talk. Meanwhile, this is the guy that's like, how could you ever, ever, ever think about voting for Donald Trump? Well, it's pretty freaking easy. Trump brought peace to the world. He worked on securing the southern border. He worked on getting our allies to pay their fair share in funding the globalist security regime. He extended olive branches to our worst enemies, putting us at the negotiation table for the first time in decades. He worked on trade agreements. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. The economy was great. Inflation was low. Were there some issues? Absolutely. A lot of it had to do with Congress and the Senate not really wanting to work with him, not to mention the endless witch hunt. Trump also made some mistakes, especially throughout the pandemic, and he probably should have been a little bit more fiscally responsible, but there's a pretty solid track record there. If you ask me why I like Trump, I'll tell you. I won't say, well, because he's my friend and he comes on my show, and I think he can win, and that's why. That's not an argument. That's stupid. That's frankly brain dead. Look, I like Bill Maher. I don't hate the guy, but he's got Trump derangement syndrome like I think we've never seen before. I think he's got Republican derangement syndrome like pretty much nobody else. He is the definite of a Hollywood Democrat liberal who's just bought in that the Democrat Party is the way to go. He's too connected to the liberal elite to ever be trusted. I mean, he had Adam Schiff on his show the other day, and he just simply treats Adam Schiff as a respectable politician, even though Adam Schiff is the biggest scoundrel in Washington. Real talk with Bill Maher, by the way, too scared to challenge Adam Schiff because he wants these Democrats to keep coming back on his show. He's a Democrat left-wing talk show host first, and that's why he simply cannot be trusted. He proves his bias, and he also proves his ignorance on a near constant basis. When you hear this guy debate January 6th or debate any issues related to the pandemic, he is ignorant. He is ignorant of anything that the New York Times isn't writing articles about. But then he goes on in his rants when speaking with Seth MacFarlane about why the mainstream media can't be trusted and how they're constantly spreading fake news. I pretty much only read the New York Times Bill Maher says that. Bill Maher needs to learn how to practice what he preaches. He's not as knowledgeable or as intellectual as he's perceived. I think it's gotten to his head a little bit, and it pretty much shows big time anytime he interacts with anybody from the independent media space. Patrick but David, with just a couple simple questions, pretty much exposes Bill Maher's entire image. I guess that's pretty much the conclusion of this video. That's what I got for you guys, though. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.